Hello everyone, you can see I'm holding two motors in my hand. A really small one NEMA 2300 watt and a big 3 kilowatt motor for EV applications. Would you like to know how people test them professionally in the industry? How people test the controllers for them in the industry? Please follow us and stay tuned. You're going to learn a lot about this and you're going to be able to make your own test bench. Okay guys, so this is the small test bench. You can see the difference between the, the motors. Here is the small NEMA 23 motor. This is the small brake. They are connected with the coupling. The T-slot plate here is like around 20 by 20 centimeters. The thickness is 20 millimeters. And the weight uh, is about 20 kilos. Also here we have the controller. So you can see that we are able to adjust the, the torque on the brake here, the magnetic brake. Comparing to the, what we are going to test, this is uh, another motor with uh, the power 3 kilowatt. And actually we are going to use even uh, more powerful motor, around 9 kilowatt in, in peak power. It will be twice deeper i'd say and the on another side this break so the dimension is actually five or maybe even ten times bigger difference between the the components so this is the brake with the fan cooling system so brake is, is here the current controller for the brake and this potentiometer which we are going to use to control the torque. Yeah, so maximum torque here is uh, 12 Newton meters. The power of this is three kilowatts. And let's see how to design, develop and assemble the test bench for these components. Okay, so for our assembly we will use this website Mizumi and here we can purchase some special parts and for example if you go to mechanical components here we can find the special brackets mounting plates and brackets so this is our choice for L brackets we can um, adjust the 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 hose position diameter the central hole yeah so welded mounted plates like like this we can use for the uh for mounting of our motor so let's see how we can set the position of the hose and uh, adjust all the dimensions of the bracket and uh, assemble it in solid works with the motor <laughs> 